A 17,000-year-old conch shell that lay forgotten for more than 80 years in a museum collection has been discovered to be the oldest known wind instrument of its type, after researchers found it had been modified by its prehistoric owners to be played like a horn. First unearthed in a richly decorated cave in the Pyrenees in 1931, the large shell was initially overlooked by archaeologists, who assumed it was a communal loving cup used by the Paleolithic people whose wall art adorns the space. But a re-examination of the conch, carried out during a recent inventory of items held at the Museum de Toulouse in southern France, has revealed that it had in fact been carefully drilled and shaped to hold what experts now believe was a mouthpiece. Remarkably, a skilled horn player enlisted by the multidisciplinary team of French scientists was able to produce three clear notes of C, D and C-sharp from the artifact, offering a tantalizing hint of how it sounded to its original owners. Societies from Oceania to Europe, India to Japan have been known to use conch shells as musical instruments, calling devices or sacred objects. But while bone flutes were used as early as 35,000 years ago, Ticello said, no known example of a conch instrument dates to such an early period. Carbon dating of the Marcellus conch, named after the cave near Toulouse in which it was found, established it was about 17,000 years old, from a time when Magdalenian hunter-gatherers hunted bison and deer at the end of the last ice age. The apex of the shell has been purposely removed, creating a round aperture through which a narrow stick was inserted to drill a hole, described by the scientists as a really complex technical operation. The outermost lip of the shell had also been trimmed, potentially to allow a player to insert his or her hand to modulate the sound. The team hoped to experiment playing the conch in the cave where it would first have been sounded, which Ticello said he expected would be a moment of great emotion. The research is published in the journal Science Advances.